So the springtime is here and it feels so nice to experience the warmer weather and see the first signs of nature waking up from its winter sleep. So instead of spending the night in my backyard, I decided to go on a small trip under some darker skies. Okay, so despite that the spirits are quite high in the springtime and we all enjoy the warm weather and outside activities, uh, in my case for astrophotography, uh, this isn't the most exciting time, uh, mainly because of my gear. Since my field of view is quite wide, I can fill up my image with a majestic galaxy, uh, but I still like to image them nonetheless. So tonight I came to one of my favorite places to image. Uh, some of you may already remember it from the past videos and uh, that's on the Puhoria mountain, uh, more specifically on Arech. I like to come here for several reasons. Uh, one of them is that I'm on a higher elevation, which uh, of course means uh, better seeing conditions. And uh, plus there is uh, way less uh, light pollution. And one of the main reasons why I like to come on a higher elevation while imaging galaxies is uh, that I simply don't have the advantage of adding uh, any narrow band exposures uh, later while processing, so I'm not able to tick load any more uh, fine detail like you can with a narrow band filter. But anyway, I came here a bit early, so I would make sure that I'm prepared and I could fly my drone around a bit. And I can already see that it's getting really dark, so I won't waste any more time in the car uh, chatting. And I'll just head out and uh, prepare everything. Okay, so my tactic for tonight is uh, really simple. Uh, like I mentioned before, I won't be using any narrowband filters. And I kind of like it like this because uh, it makes the whole uh, operation a bit more simple. Uh, especially because uh, every time uh, I change uh, filters, I have to do the refocusing on the telescope uh, and on my guiding camera. And as many of you may know, it really doesn't take all that long. But uh, if you're clumsy like me, uh, several things can happen in the meantime you can accidentally bump uh, the tripod or any other clumsy thing that might happen so yeah I like the simplicity uh, all I will use is the moon and sky glue filter and I'll go for 300 second exposures I think that the sky quality is uh, amazing here I know I should have taken advantage of this uh, amazing spot uh, uh, much more times but it is uh, like a half an hour drive here so beside my clumsiness i think i'm also a bit lazy but you know it's springtime maybe things will change all i know is that i'm excited to be here and enjoy a night under some amazing dark skies <laughs> Together, I captured a little over 5 hours worth of exposure and despite this being quite a small target I think I did capture enough details to make this amazing galaxy recognizable and to show its beauty. And with that said I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.